What's cracking, YouTube family? It's your big homie Wayne, and welcome back to another one of these reaction videos. All right, so this one right here is gonna be coming up from a guy I saw on Comic View a long time ago. You guys familiar with Comic View? It's an old stand up comedy show. He's come on BT. Uh, so this dude's name is Honest John, man. I saw him a long time ago as a kid on there. He just was really funny. And uh, this is actually from Showtime at the Apollo. Uh, so you guys familiar with the Apollo, you already know what that's about. So here we go right here, man. Showtime at the Apollo with Honest John. Let's get into it. Oh, I can't tell you what a thrill it is to be here. I mean, this is off the heasy. But I, I, I'm so blessed. I have this great job just traveling all over the country telling jokes. Although traveling ain't all it's cracked up to be. Promoters always put you on the cheapest planes they can find. I know you're thinking value jet. This wasn't even that. Just said plane. <laughs> P-L-A-I-N. <laughs> and then they don't tell you things you need to know. They flew me into Atlanta. Didn't tell me they was having tornadoes. I'm sitting in the hotel room, look out the window, there's a big tornado coming right at me. Fortunately, there was a trailer park down the block. Tornado went there, just tore that up. Did almost $25 worth of damage. <laughs> I know that's tragedy, but, and I'm making fun of it, but that's what comedy is. Comedy is tragedy turned inside out. And we, tragedy happens all the time. We just had a tragedy in the world of comedy. Last year, a comedian got convicted of rape. And I hope they send him away for a long time, because a comedian that will commit rape will steal a joke. <laughs> tragedy happening everywhere. Back in L.A. last Christmas, there was a woman... She was in a coma. Her family had her at home, you know, with the tubes and wires all hooked up to her. A dog got in the house and ate up her left foot. Now that is a tragic thing. But if that didn't wake her ass up, maybe it's time to turn off the machine. All kinds of tragic stuff happening. Right? Sonny Bono found out the beat don't necessarily go on. <laughs> Sometimes it stops right at the old oak tree. <laughs> Somebody shot Versace. I know some of you sharp dressed dudes, you're all upset about that. Obviously, no effect on my life. If they ever kill the guy that owns Kmart, then I'll worry. <laughs> Was another tragic event but that tragedy sure showed the difference between the rich and famous and the rest of us didn't it his plane went down they had the whole navy out looking for him was sending in submarines and the navy seals if that had been my ass out there would have been my cousin billy in a rowboat <laughs> <laughs> tragedy happens everywhere rob Pilatus from milli vanilli he died so they're going to pretend to bury him? Oh. Oh, okay. 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 I know some of y'all thinking, oh, this guy's wrong, making all these jokes about dead people. There's a reason why I do that. Dead people can't come in the club and kick your ass. <laughs> There's a lot of comics. They are making jokes about Mike Tyson. That's a bad brother. And he's around. Been known to lose his temper every now and then. I'm telling you, Mike's my man. Now, I was mad after a Holyfield fight. Paid $59.95 to watch your brother have lunch. <laughs> I kind of liked Holyfield's interview after the fight, though. Huh? What'd you say? <laughs> telling you i hope that mike is able to overcome all his difficulties and come back and win the heavyweight championship again that would be a real 
inspiration with all the adversity he's had to overcome. Like the judge wouldn't let him out of jail because he couldn't pass his high school equivalency test. How much education do you need to beat brothers up? They got someone right there in the ring who will do the counting for him. <laughs> and the case that got him convicted, I got to tell you something. I got a master's degree in psychology. First thing they teach us in psychology, all behavior is communication. So going up to that hotel room at 3 o'clock in the morning is communication. Booty call. I mean, if there's a woman in my room at 3 o'clock in the morning and we ain't doing it, she must be robbing me. <laughs> now, I fully support a woman's right to say no. But that's a right that should be used early. Like before we've spent all our damn money. <laughs> that's why I don't buy women drinks no more unless I know I'm going to get some. Oh, over the years, I have wasted thousands of dollars getting women drunk for some other brother. <laughs> tell you what like I said what a thrill this is, is to be here because one of the things I love about comedy is it unites us it does that it unites us and, and that's a beautiful thing I hate people trying to divide us up I hate skinheads going around you know making bald people look bad but I'm telling you it's just stupid to decide that you're going to hate everybody who's different than you. Now, I'm not pretending to be all superior like I don't hate nobody. I do my hating one son of a bitch at a time. <laughs> Thank you all very much. All right, guys. So there we have it, man. Honest John at the Apollo um, <clears throat> I didn't join at the Apollo man so um, like I said uh, I originally saw this guy when I was probably around that same time um, honestly um, and he was on Comic View no this probably was in the, the late 90s Comic View probably late 90s mid to late 90s and um, he was a funny guy then this right here was in 2000 uh, a lot of the stuff that he said back then, I mean, pretty much lived through it, able to look back on it. Um, hey, it was funny then. It was funny then. It was funny today when I just watched it. Still, was funny, man. Um, he has, uh, he had um, a really good perspective right there when he said how comedy unites people. Um, even though all of the jokes he said was really funny, uh, I think that was probably the, the best thing that I heard um, from him talking right there that comedy unites us because that's true you know even here like on this channel right here man um we have all type of people that come down in the comments and um leave us comments and they're good they're bad or whatever but at the end of the day it's creating conversation uh, it's creating conversation and it's showing that we have some commonality some things that we can all enjoy together and everything doesn't have to be a political debate or anything like that you know, um, some things could just be in kind, man, lighthearted. You know what I'm saying? You could just enjoy stuff without having to be serious about everything all the time. And that's what comedy is, man. Comedy, like, he had some serious things that he was talking about in there. Uh, you can even hear the crowd at some point was probably seemed like they were about to start booing him. If you're familiar with the Apollo, once you start getting booed, they do bring the hook out. They do put you off stage. So it did seem like a certain section of the crowd was kind of sensitive to a few of the jokes in there. Um, but... As he kept going, he just kept going. He got the whole crowd behind him, man, because it's comedy. You know, some of the stuff that people say in comedy is probably going to, you know, stroke some people a little differently than everybody else, you know. Um, but it's not it's not like somebody's potentially trying to insult you. It's comedy, you know. Um, and comedy is cool because if you don't want to listen to it, you don't watch it, you don't have to. It's a show. You choose. It's your choice. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
So I love comedy, and that's why we like to watch comedy on this channel, and that's why we enjoy you guys. Keep coming back and letting us know you want to see more comedy. You know what I'm saying? What do you guys think? Jump down in the comments and let us know how you feel about this one right here from Honest John at the Apollo. Are you guys familiar with Honest John? It's comedy. Um, you guys have any other recommendations for Honest John? Um, this is your first time hearing Honest John. Jump down there and let me know how you guys feel about this one, because this one right here was a really good video. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I thought it was funny, and... Uh, yeah, so if you guys haven't done so already, give this video a huge thumbs up. There's lots for exposure for the channel. More people see the video just like you did. Also, it helps us out in the algorithm, man. This is an algorithm a little bit. So go ahead, give the video a huge thumbs up. And if it's not asking for too much, and if you haven't done so already, you like these type of videos, hit the subscribe button, become a member of the family, ring notification bell, all that good stuff. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Continue to show the love and support. You see this mock plaque here? Keep coming back. You guys keep subscribing. Keep doing what you're doing. And you guys going to help us replace this one right here with a real one. So that's why we got it up there. It's a mock for now because it's just a placeholder for when the real one gets here. Because I know it's coming. Because you guys going to keep subscribing and become members of the family. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't have anything else for you guys. But with that being said, as always, peace.